Joining me right now to talk more about the economy, growth, and how to invest right now is this, the co-CEO of Invest Corp, Rishi Kapoor. Rishi, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much for so, having so me. So we had a, we had a number that was well, it looks not too hot, not too cold on the jobs numbers. You invest quarter of a percent of your assets under management in private equity. You have a good vision in terms of what's going on with economic growth out there. How do you see things? Yeah, I mean, our starting point, frankly, is obviously everything starts with the a top-down assessment. And what we had prevailing uh, in the global economy over the last several years was a very benign backdrop uh, stemming from an ultra-loose monetary policy, a very low uh, volatility regime, and a fairly stable geopolitical backdrop uh, facilitating gro global trade. Today, in 2018, towards the end of 2018 and looking forward, much of that is not really something that we can take for granted, and much of that is falling away. So as a consequence, you know, our stance from an investment perspective is what I would describe as being cautiously vigilant. We do believe that uh, the U.S. economy in particular and the global economy generally is going to continue to grow, albeit perhaps not as fast as we have seen it in recent times. And positioning ourselves well for that means focusing on businesses that are less at risk from two major exogenous risk factors. One, relating to the trade uh, disputes that we are having to face up to today. And the second is technology-led disruption risk. So we are focusing a lot on business services. We are focusing a lot on people-based businesses that are less uh, susceptible to such uh, secular forces disrupting them. Uh, we've acquired a talent agency. Um, that was our most recent investment in the U.S. You know, with the, with the onslaught of content ownership, the likes of Netflix, Amazon, etc., coming over the top, um, you know, YouTube, social media, influencers, etc. Talent management is, we think, ideally poised as a people-based business enabled by technology to, to grow well into so the future. So the talent agency is one, the, the most recent, but business services, other areas that you are finding growth in an economy that is uh, expected to slow down? Yeah, uh, so, you know, for instance, um, some of the other areas we focused on are either high-end value-added businesses, people-based businesses, like consulting firms, like strategic communication firms. We've invested in both. Um, and also, down the value chain, essential services, you know, we've invested in a business uh, that provides maintenance services to HVAC, plumbing services, et cetera. It's grown like a weed, um, wow. you know, so. Well, l let me ask you about real estate, because InvestCorp has a range of investments uh, around the world in, in terms of real estate, as well as uh, private equity. You just invested $300 million in the multifamily properties in the United States. Uh, do you see a change happening to real estate as interest rates move up? Um, so with real estate, much like as is the case with private equity, our assessment starts from a top-down perspective, right? And in real estate, for us in particular, the main secular trend we are looking to back is this adoption of e-commerce and, in particular, the, the significant expansion of data storage requirements with the advent of big data, et cetera. Sure. And playing on both of those, we feel that the real near-term opportunity Actually, I shouldn't even say real, uh, near term. It's really more like medium to long term. Opportunity in real estate is all around the periphery, the last, five, last mile fulfillment, the distribution centers, the data centers, the logistics warehouses, either serving regional hubs or the last mile you know, into major urban centers. Mm. And so that, as you mentioned earlier, Maria, one of our biggest investments lately has been a large portfolio of industrial warehousing assets across the United States. We see a good opportunity in student housing as well. Yes, rising rates yeah. would have had an impact, but, you know, it's been fairly muted. Is there anything about this most recent market upset that would cause you to pull back? Uh, I mean, look, market was down 800 points Tuesday. Today we're seeing another sell-off, worries about global growth. Do you pull back in terms yeah, of putting so it to work the, or not? The shift in our thinking is we are not backing the beta anymore. We are backing the, the alpha. No macro bets. It's really the micro bets. We are looking at the company first, the property first. Where is it located? What does the company do? What is the management That do? makes a lot of I, sense. That makes a lot. Rishi, it's great to have you on the program. It was absolutely fantastic being here. Thank you so much, Rishi Kapoor.